Vivo, V E V O R, and I wired it. It's a 230 volt international to um, North America. So I incorporated this uh, my shunt, a Victron smart shunt, into the system. And that uh, reading is not accurate yet because battery is supposed to be charged, but there's no sun today at all. And we started charging, put some power. We pick up to about 300. And these are the batteries <clears throat> with a medical cart I got from a uh, battery hookup. I just use this rod to hold this um, enclosure. So I use um, MC4 connectors, like the ones you have for, for your solar. Yeah, I just use an alligator here. Don't worry about this. The temporary setup. I don't have the other piece. So this is the connector. I use the output. It says the output right there. The AC output. So if you look at the top, is the top one, the input, and the bottom one here is the AC out. So I use a transformer. I have a small uh, uh, step-down transformer from 230 to 120 we incorporated that uh, here so this is the inverter is a step down ac to ac converter so it's take is a just a 500 watts i just need this around so that i can able to test this inverter to see if we can able to use it on a, a north america voltage so we step the voltage from 240 to 220, 240 to 110, 120, 50, 60 hertz. It's a 500 watts, it's a pure, pure sine wave um, converter. So here, the other side is the uh, the DC, um, the, um, the North America. And here is like the computer cable, like, like a PC to the input. It's a small wire and I use a little bit bigger wire. I think it's a 12, 12 or 14 gauge, this one. So I plug it in here and um, this is the power for the meter. What I'm gonna do, I have to leave this one here. You guys can see because the machine is on the power saving mode right now. And uh, we're gonna go about turning the uh, the load on. Not into, it's not into high speed. So I hope you saw, you saw the surge. We are pulling about um, 99 watts. Let me drop it down to number two. Second to the highest, and we're running out at 120, so we pull in 85 watts. I'm gonna drop it to the lowest. Now it's into the lowest, so I have to be careful not to use more heavy tests on this. It's only a 500 watt transformer, so. This is what it is. Let's take a look here and see the fan running. Here goes the fan. At a low speed. Let's do it on the high speed. So we are now that this is the highest speed you've seen. That 99, 98, 99. The medium speed and the low speed okay this is what it is it works so I can able to anchor it has a handles right here I can able to anchor this transformer see the bottom I can bolt it on a wood or somewhere you can sit to just do the trick for that 
500 watts I want to do or whatever I want to power so let's bring you back to the machine right here and you see what I'm talking about so if you look at it we are pulling 34 watt and um, I saw almost 400 watts yesterday on the test on just the solar side so the batteries are sitting currently at 27.8 volt and uh, output voltage is 228 volt so it's not quite almost almost quite to 230 okay and the hertz is a 50 hertz and the load is still looking at it as zero because not that kind of heavy load load watts it's not even give us the load uh, the percentage uh, we're flashing like almost in and out like a one earlier so let me go turn the fan again make it higher let's see so I'm gonna go there you go I'm gonna go um, turn the, 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 the fan the speed went up a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm trying to put side by side the meter right here so we can have the meter right here side by side all right so let's see I said said the meter side by side going on high speed now so we have 27 points 27.5 so you see we pull in 72 and this one is reading um, 83 so which one is right so let's go back the load is about almost about flashing 3% and this one is reading 83 this is not even cal calibrated yet and there's a voltage discrepancy right there if you look at it from here is a 27.7 and here 27.5 I don't know if you can see that pan down a little bit 27.7 on the inverter Vevor and 27.4 right here so like a 300 millivolts differential is pulling about 3 amps here on the Victron and 5 or 50 Hertz and this is the voltage coming from the inverter 228 volt AC and now we bring it about 43 watt to the batteries you can see it's charging this only thing i think is the only accurate is this battery right here or well, this percentage right here the state of charge it never works even on the pips uh when i got my first pips and that's one of the things that was fouling and uh, giving a wrong reading which i don't even trust at all so let's look at this carefully while we doing the test draining the transformer is uh, doing well so I want you to see the screen really good because this test is we're performing this test so I have a lot of videos uh, a lot of people are asking me how can I run a 230 volt international to uh, North America 
on my P2424 LV MSD. Well, this is how I'm going to end the video. I hope you like that. And this is the uh, Vevo V E V O R MPPT hybrid inverter charger. Just like the PIPs. All right, bye for now. I give you a glance on the batteries. This is what I've done. I put a Victron Smart Shunt down there. So no Victron, sorry. I kept saying that. It's a Renogy Smart Shunt. Then I have the bus bars right here. You gotta be careful here. So that's the bus bars you can see. And if you see the little screw right down here, this is where the positive for the shunt connector. You see the red wire underneath right here. I have them all down that point. So it's connected to the thing. We have the battery minus to the P minus. That's the load. That's how this guy is working. Earlier today, I can hear the thing was raving. So bringing power. So these are the batteries I've uh, been doing. And uh, this is the completion. And I'm going to try and put something here. But I got a disconnect right here. I was doing a marker so I can able to cut this thing. And able to utilize that filter I put back there for fan. To bring in cold air to the system. Like sucking it from here. Before I put the, this guy here because I was going to put it at the top. And back would have been the exhaust. So let me show you. I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm not going to use this guy right here. The um, pip. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to just take this guy right here and mount it up here and utilize these holes back there. And get to the clean setup. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Bye for now.